Hi, John Rule. It's Hi there. The second of November, two thousand fifteen. That is. And John was one of the many people who came to my birthday party, which was on the thirty first in the afternoon it was during the right day. And there's Don Jones, and that's Sim. Sim works for the right. The uh, he's the facility. outreach man for the <clears throat> land trust. Trust. And there was. Uh, Okay, here we've got Ann and, what's her name? Emily Cates. Emily Cates, yeah. <laughs> and here's your lady friend. My, uh, right, Ruth and, Francis. And she's with John Bryant. Right. <clears throat> and you know who was hiding in that costume? Yes, that was Donna. Of Donna, Donna and, and Kelly. Kelly, yeah. yeah. Okay. And Don Jones was here again. And here's Major Bemis and Beth Presley. Yep. And got two shots. They'll probably like one of them better than the other, but mm -hmm. they're, they're on here now. They both have beautiful personalities. That's right. And there is um, Jim, Jim Alexander. I have to look up to him. Yeah, you're looking up to him. He's a tall fella. And, and he's the husband of? Fran Alexander. Of environmental significance. Right, there is Alice Schaefer, Shepherd. That's my daughter's mother. We were married in 1961 to 1974. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's talking to John Bryant. And here's Janice and talking with um, Diane. Mm -hmm. And here's um, Say names for me if you can. Yeah, I'm Dot Neely. And, and uh, well, you know, you know everybody better than I do. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, well, I got their names on the picture correctly, right. and I forget. Anyway, that's that's kind of funny because the light looks yellow. Maybe I tried to adjust it lighter or something. I right. Don't know. <coughs> but they're a great couple and great friends and. She plays a good fiddle. Yeah, and she did a lot of work helping Lauren get ready for that birthday party. Event. Right, so, I bet. And there's Jim Venus and Major again, and here's Ruth, right. John, and my daughter, Deirdre, mm -hmm. Suzanne Shepard. And, well, see, I got three I didn't realize she looked so glamorous. Well, she's... All these ladies are glamorous. Yeah. I've been by her house several times, but with you. But yeah, but that's it's Fred or Joe. Joe Neal, Joe Neal, and uh, he was talking to Dee. I don't know, probably about birds and stuff. And he was very, he's very wise about birds. We know, mm -hmm. and she was very happy to, you know, get to talk to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was also very thrilled to get to talk with Emily Cates more. She has never been enough time with either one of those right. people. Right. And I see both those people pretty regularly right. year round. Yeah. And uh, there's uh, Alice Schaefer Shepherd and Deirdre Suzanne Shepherd and Dee was practicing on her guitar a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Left to right. Danny Masulo. Yeah. And hmm. I don't know who that is. You know that guy with that clown suit on? No. It's uh, Bernetta's husband. Oh, Steve Holst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was costumed up pretty well. And Bernetta, of course, is on the right there, and they're all laughing because he, he, he's a great entertainer. You know? Yes, he is. <coughs> and there's Dot Neely, maybe a second time in right. this group. A second time. And she was there, but I've also seen her three different places, four different places right. last week or two. She's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is Jenny's husband, Stephen Smith, or Steve Smith. Mm -hmm. And there's Lauren with our friend. John Gray. John Gray. And now here's Quinn Montana with John Gray. And they're, they're great friends. Remember, we talked to both of them at the library right. one day no, when sure. we were looking at photos up there. Okay, there's Don in the middle, and uh, Michael, and uh, Don, okay. That last shot, John, they're mowing Pinnacle Prairie. That sounds bad, but they did it right. They waited till November to mow it, right. so it'll be even more That's beautiful great. next great. summer. Till next time. Do your Til part. Till next time. See ya.
Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard. It's the 5th of November, 2015, and we're looking at photos from Beville, Arkansas. First thing you see will be button bush and willow tree, two of the classic items that designate wetland. And those are on World Peace Well and Prairie. Well, they were. The mowing hasn't been done in three years on there, so you see the mower running. Now, here's the little press conference, maybe the first one held with these young people after the plane crashed. I got down there a long time after it crashed, but um, I was able, here's a shot from across the street showing the inside of the cab, and up above, there's the handle that you pull straight up there to let the parachute out, I understand. And you can see uh, one of the propellers was bent, but relatively speaking, the, the plane looked like it was in pretty darn good shape. And fortunately, nobody was seriously injured, nobody died, but it was a very unusual occurrence, got a lot of national publicity. That's Pinnacle Prairie after being mowed. That was going on the same day. And the, uh, Well, it just looks really sad after all the pictures I've shown of Pinnacle Prairie when it's in bloom. And you see a few of the spots there where the uh, willows are allowed to grow. They're growing, or were allowed to grow by the mowers. Uh, they're growing in places that have water, always have water underground. And you saw what may be a daughter plant a minute ago, and here's a caterpillar. This world, and there's an insect with those two flowers that are two different species, see, touching. That, uh, that space is so precious because it's got such diversity of species. You can see how tiny those really are in comparison to the hand there. Just showing these because they're so wonderful, I didn't want to go try to select things from every week or something. But uh, it, it's really sad. It's like losing a you know, friend or something when, when that property gets mowed down. But it will come back mostly from roots and seeds. And that's big blue stem, a colorful one, and the other one is a uh, plant also an unusual native species that is a characteristic of wetland. This photo is of yellow Indian grass. And it's another beautiful late blooming species. And these were, you know, losing their color when they got mowed, but they're all mowed down now. So if you did go out there, don't bother to go out there or just take a walk to look at what's still left around the edges. Tiny panicum grass. Can you see how tiny those stems are and how crooked they look? That's not the camera's fault. That's the way they look. And the seeds are so tiny. And uh, this is uh, uh, one of the flowers you saw in that grouping I showed me ago. This is Liatris. And all those seeds, I got a handful, all those that went to seed. This is a beautiful tiny orchid, and there are about four, I think there are five species of orchid, actually, if I could get all the pictures of the different ones together, on Pinnacle Wet Prairie in South Bell. Okay, that's a legume, and now we're back to Liatris. You see the Liatris like this uh, being sold by florists. And that's little blue stem grass on each side. Little blue stem is, is maybe the rarest of the tall grass species in northwest Arkansas, in my experience. But it's really plentiful, has been the last two, three years after Pinnacle Prairie was allowed to grow up. Till next time, this is Aubrey Shepard asking you to do your part, help keep the water clean, air pure, and the woods green. See you.